I'm going to start this tutorial with a little bit of a instruction on how to use logical conditions in Excel. So first of all, come to uh, the Chemical Engineering 263 site um, and apmonitor.com slash CHE 263. And then we're going to come to the, um, under the Excel and VBA conditionals. Okay, so there's a little bit of information here on how to use conditionals within Excel. So we're just going to do this not within VBA but just within an Excel spreadsheet and we'll use some of these functions like if and or and not. Okay. Um, so what we want to do is create a number guessing game. So those you know those guessing games that you played uh, with somebody when you were little, you know, guess a number between one and a hundred and then they say too high or too low. Uh, so we're going to do that with these uh, logical conditions and so go ahead and open up Excel and once it opens then go ahead and create a blank workbook. I'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Um, so this is guess um, a number between 0 and 100. Okay. Um, and then I'll just put this down as the uh, the guess, and we'll just give them ten guesses, for example. So go ahead and drag this down. Uh, when you select the bottom right, uh, it's going to drag it down to ten. Okay, and then uh, this will be your guess. Okay, right here, and let's go ahead and just color this uh, a different color so that. Um, you know they know this is where they're going to put their their guess and so I'm just going to color it um, orange and maybe put uh, some borders around it okay and then this is the uh, response that we'll have right here that will give uh, the guess okay so this is the uh, if you just rename the worksheet down here in the bottom left the little tab if you double click it uh, this will be the guess and then go ahead and hit this plus sign and then make a new sheet and then that will be the uh, answer. Okay, so if we just make um, a new, okay, so the answer, um, we'll just say that's going to be uh, 76. Okay, so uh, we want to um, let them get 10 guesses and then record a response right here. So let's just go ahead and put a guess in here. Let's put 55. Okay, so let's just first of all test um, if uh, this value, and then go ahead and select your answer tab. All right, so let me back up there. Um, I'll say if um, this tab, or on this tab, if this number right here, 55, so that's guess. Um, and if you selected a different worksheet, it's going to put guess and then the exclamation mark in front of it to let uh, you know that that is from the guess tab, uh, the guess uh, worksheet. Okay, um, and then if that equals, so I'll just do a comparison equals this answer, okay, um, then there's going to be a true statement uh, that I can put there. So I can put something like, correct. Okay, and then uh, if it's false, uh, maybe I can put try again. Okay, and then hit enter. Um, okay, so that just says correct or try again. Um, you know, the person's going to probably have to guess quite a few times uh, in order to be able to get that. So let's put in the, instead of try again, let's put in either too low or too high. Okay, so what we're going to do is just go ahead and open this up again and I'll erase the try again. Okay, but put another if statement there. So if, um, and I'll select your guess uh, right there, um, is less than, let's go back to answer and just select um, the answer, um, then um, we'll say it's uh, too low. And if it isn't, then uh, we'll say too high. Now it won't ever be correct um, if it makes it to this point because uh, it already caught that with the first if statement. Okay, so that says too low. Okay, so let me just change this to 90 
uh, too high, and then if I change it to 76, then it says correct. Okay, so now we want to be able to give them, um, you know, drag this down and be able to give them a response every time they guess. Okay, so if I drag it down right now, I've got a problem because uh, I have some values. The answer cell is never going to change. So if you go right after the A2 and then hit F4 if you're on Windows or Command T if you're on um, a Mac, um, then it'll make it a static reference. So it'll put these dollar signs in front of it. Um, so I'm going to do that after this next A2 as well. Okay, so there is um, the uh, A2 with a static reference. Uh, so now I can drag it down. So what, um, so let's just say I started with 50 and then I uh, guessed, uh, let's say 80 uh, for my next one. And when I drag this uh, formula down, it's going to copy that formula. Uh, but adjust the B3 cell to be the one right to the left of it. Okay, but this says too low uh, because this does not have a value there. So maybe we want to not display anything until we've guessed an answer. Okay, so let's go ahead and just change this. I'm going to put another if statement right here. So if um, this value uh, is not equal to a blank then we'll give it an answer but else um, let's just go ahead and return a blank okay um, so there's too low and then if I come over to this cell and just select it and double click now you can see uh, the values went away until I put a guess in okay so maybe I said 78 and then 76 Okay, so there's my uh, number guessing game. I want to show you some of the other um, the uh, the other functions, uh, logical functions that we can use. So I'm just going to put here uh, true and then false. Okay, so um, these are booleans. It's uh, kind of like one zero of uh, true false. So let me do the um, and operator here. Okay, so and um, and if I select one comma the other, so both of those have to be true in order for it to be true. So that is going to be false. But let me use the or, um, and the or is going to be this one, and that one, one of them has to be true for it to be true. So the or is going to be true. And then if I do something like equals not, uh, then it's just going to change that. Um, so that it's going to be the opposite of what it was before. Okay, so that is just a brief review on uh, logical conditions within Excel. And uh, what we did was we just built a simple number guessing game.